We are back. This is the fun half, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's start with this clip of Howard Schultz, shall we? Because this is pretty fun. This guy. I think you need to. This guy is going to, um, I think he's going to run. Despite the fact that he just, you, there's no, let me put it this way. There's no way a month ago he's sitting with his consultants, Steve Schmidt, Bill Burton, who knows who else. And incidentally, we're talking Steve Schmidt and Bill Burton. They're getting like, not just, you know, they're getting uh, Central Park West apartment money. Yeah. Like, they're getting millions of dollars to do this. And um, Bill Burton used to work for, what is it, uh, SDK Knickerbocker? Still or does. It, uh, no, he, I mean, he's, he's on leave. leave of absence. He's the head now, of, here's S the funny of, part. of the uh, Cali office of that This firm. story that came out the other day where um, people have been going after Starbucks and SDK is trying to convince Democrats to lay off Starbucks because uh, it apparently, even though uh, Schultz is no longer there, apparently he's close enough that it's starting to, to pinch a little bit. If the only outcome of this is that liberals boycott Starbucks, that's going to be amazing. That's going to be, uh, sadly, I don't think it's going to be the only outcome because I think this guy is going to run. And because my point being that for, you know, three months ago when he was sitting around with his incredibly um, overpaid consultants, there is no way they had a projection. I'm sure they came up with different scenarios. What what things are going to look like after we do our rollout? I am convinced that no matter how diligent they were, did they come up with a projection that would have covered how badly this rollout went. There's no way they said, well, it's also conceivable after all this, like 4% of both parties are interested in you. And independence. And independence. That, that we know is not going to happen. The and triad. It's, it's not like you're, you're going to go on all these shows and everybody's going to be like universally pan every performance. Um, look, you're going to be able to go to places like... Um, like uh, Purdue University, at least, and you'll give a speech mm -hmm. and people are going to respond really well to you. In fact, here is that speech. Under President Daniels, the cost of an education here will be less expensive in nominal dollars in 2020 than it was in 2012. Congratulations. Got to clap for that. <laughs> Please clap. You know, anytime you, you use the phrase nominal well, dollars, you are reaching the heights exactly. of rhetorical power. Eight years later, yeah. nominal dollars. Much harder for you to get those dollars. I want everyone to have the same nominal dollars in that grand future. You know, they're all just, you know why the, the, the hesitation of clapping was? Because it was like, we're all in debt. Right. It's like, here. thank you, dude. Also, it's, we're marginally less effed, I guess, using terminology that we don't understand uh, than before. Thanks. Yeah. And like, we're still experiencing like we're between those two different points. Right. right? Yeah, Instead right, of yeah. the people <laughs> right, who are sitting true. in the room with him. Instead I, of leaving B uh, this university with somewhere between 60 and one hundred and twenty thousand dollars worth of debt. Uh, we're going to be leaving this university with somewhere between fifty-nine and one hundred nineteen thousand dollars worth of debt. In we, nominal, we, nominal dollars. That's right. Actually, uh, Brandon made a really good point about this, though. That like a lot of people, like we said last night when we played it, like, oh, this is his Jeb Bush moment, but it's not because it's the difference between like a a cocky billionaire schmuck because he's kind of, he's saying like, come on, like that's good, do it, versus the like. Uh, can I? I've been totally beaten down by life, and my family, and my mom, and my brother, and I'd appreciate a clap. <laughs> so there's, yeah, he's you still. He's, yeah, see, yeah. I think you guys are just being haters right now. I swag. think it's a really great example of exactly how inspiring the centrist message can be. Yeah, it's <laughs> super inspiring. It's and, and and if you don't get inspired by it, we're going to demand you do. It's un-American to yeah, not it's clap. Un it's un-American. It's un-American to not be inspired.